Kevin, what are you doing? Oh, I'm getting ready to spool up another roll of filament here for my 3D printer. And I ran into a little problem where my software tells me you need X number of millimeters of filament to print this print. But the spools, they come in kilograms or pounds. They don't actually tell you how many, how many feet, yards, whatever, millimeters is actually on the spool. So I never had any way to, to try to figure out, well, this spool will work, that one won't. You know, I might have to add just a little bit to this. And I thought, aha, I'll go out to the happiest place on Earth. No, 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 not Disneyland. eBay. And start looking out there. So I started looking for some kind of counter, you know, a wire counter, a length counter, uh, you know, a digital something, I mean, or something I can make up, something I can jig together. And I found this piece of old tech out there an improved wire measuring machine. Well, that seems pretty basic, just about what I'm looking for. So I went ahead and picked this thing up. It was about a third cheaper than the digital counters I was looking at, and I would have had to have rigged something up. I would have had to figure out how to hook it all up and get it here and get you know, a little pressure wheel on top so I could feed the filament through and it would actually work. So saved money, it costs less with shipping, and the whole thing is all right there and it works for me. So as you can see, it's got a real nice patina on it. It's obviously been around a while. The description on eBay said it was from about you know, 1906, 1907, you know, somewhere right in that area. Uh, I tried looking up John Waldman Manufacturing. Of course, they're long gone. They're not around anymore. But the one thing that I noticed was, well, with these three dials, and they go from zero to 10, basically. So how the heck does that count? You would think if it was counting in inches, at least one of those dials would go from 0 to 12. So I thought, I know, I'll test it. <laughs> so I got a piece of two foot long filament and thought, well, let me just run it through there and see how it works and just test it and see what happens. So it's actually pretty darn simple. It's got this little lever that picks up the idler wheel. And it just comes out the other end. And lo and behold, at you know, two feet worth of filament, you get two on the lower dial. You know, the second dial is just starting to move. So obviously this one measures in feet. So if this is from zero to 10 feet, then this has to be from 10 feet to 100 feet. And this is from 100 feet to a thousand feet. So now that I know exactly what's going on here, when I start splicing my, my little bits and pieces together and putting them onto a new spool, I can run it off of my supply wheel through my little sizer over here to make sure it's exactly the right size to fit through the printer, through my counter, and then onto my new spool. Now I know exactly how many feet I'm dealing with, and it's real easy just to get out your phone, get the conversion app, convert feet over to millimeters, and now I know if I have enough on the spool. So I can build up a spool exactly the right size, just a little bit over, you know, have just a little bit left just to make sure. But that way I know I've got enough filament on one spool to feed my 3D printer. You know, so using 100 year old tech to work with my brand new machine, bringing the old and the new together. Oh, just like me, <laughs> the old. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get back to what I'm doing here. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to come out to Facebook and check me out. You know, it's really kind of easy. It's got this little feeder, you know, this little lever over here to pick up your idler wheel. <laughs> well, if you stick it through the hole correctly. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs>